Hello, it's Ashton. And it is John. What is up, guys? We are back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be watching Mary Queen of Scots versus Queen Elizabeth I. Queen takes Queen um, checkmate by the channel History Bites Official. The link is down in the description. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you guys go and subscribe. Yes, it's very important to support the channels that you love. Suggestion from Burnsay111. Thank you so much for the support. Do appreciate it. This is an episode of a great show called History Bites. What if television had existed since the beginning of prehistory? I hope you enjoy the Elizabethan commentary. Um, I'm sure we will. Thank you so much for the support. It's a 30 minute or 23 minute video. We're only doing the first 10 though. You guys can also help support the channel if you want to. If you click on that link down below in the descripto and throw it down through Streamlabs and let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include the video's link title, your email. Let's get to that. Also. You should you should always you should start adding that into your little spiel. Um, we just made a Patreon where we're going to be posting some of our reactions that are not going to be posted to YouTube. So if you do want to see them, the Patreon link is down below. Yes, and let's get to this video. Well, you know, <laughs> I think God and Moses both just have enormous respect for each other. Come live with me. The judges are wrong. Even the Egyptian judges. I like the idea of it. Yeah, I like the way that's put together. Sweet. Welcome to History Bites. I'm Rick Green. Hi, Rick. Whether it's in an action movie or the boxing ring, a fight between two men is seen as interesting, dramatic, and exciting. But a brawl between two women is considered cheap and tawdry. Well, in the 16th century, the British Isles experienced a very public fight between two women, and not just ordinary women, two queens. It was all very embarrassing. The Queen of England was Elizabeth, the only surviving child of Henry VIII, the guy with the six wives. She had a battle royale with Mary, Queen of Scots, who also had her sights set on the throne of England. These Renaissance regents were involved in plots and counterplots, intrigue and diplomacy, threats and violence. And yet, Liz and Mary never actually met in person. If only television had been around in the 16th century, these two quarreling queens could have come face to face, aired their grievances, and hurled chairs at each other on a trashy talk show. Jerome Springer show doth well contain yon adult themes and language. Does most the well fear. contain? If parent be as thou, prithee be discreet. Our matter for thy children is not meet. Ladies and gentlemen, would you oh please welcome God. the master That was great. This is awesome. This is. You know, it's always tough when families are torn apart because two people want the same thing and only one of them can have it. Well, today on our show, our guests include two people who both want the throne of England! Yeah, please meet Mary. She's here to confront members of her own family for standing in her way. Mary! Oh okay, I, Is that actually Jerry? I have no it idea. It looks just like it was... Well, Jerome, I think I've been silent way too long. I'm here today because I think I should be Queen of England. So, so okay, so just let me get this straight then. You've already been Queen of Scotland and France. That's right. But you want to be Queen of England, too. Well, Jerome, what can I say? You know, some girls just like a good three-way, you know? That's right. Why the hell not? You know, I got what it takes, huh? So you point me to the throne, and I'll sit on it, all right? I will. I will, because I'll rule. I'll rule all of you. I will. That's right. That's right. You know, I was <laughs> this queen is good. of Scotland when I was one week. Queen of France when I was 17. I was regal before I was legal, right? That's right. Now I want a triple crown. That's right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Triple okay. Crown. Okay. Mary. Mary. Yeah. Mary. Ca calm down. Calm down. Look at. Yeah. There's just one problem. Last time I checked, we already had a Queen of England. Well, I know that, Jerome. She's my cousin. Oh. Oh. So you're saying Elizabeth is your cousin? That's right. She's my first cousin, once removed. <laughs> once removed. And you want to be the one who removes her. No, no, that is true. No, that's, that's so not true, Jerome. I don't want to cause any harm to my dear cousin Lizzie. Mary, I don't understand. I mean, 
we can't have two queens. There's something else going on here, Mary. Well, you know what? what? I just wanted to do right by me, Jerome. I mean, Liz's father was Henry VIII, the case. So after her sister Mary and her brother Eddie died, that makes her the oldest surviving heir to the Tudor line, okay? So that gives her the right to be queen for now. But hell, I just want Lizzie to fess up that I'm next in line, all right? <laughs> After all, I'm the granddaughter of Lizzie's Aunt Margaret by way of James number five of the Stuart line, all right? Somebody give me a family tree diagram. <laughs> and, uh, I'm so confused. Uh, all this noble inbreeding. Look, look, okay, Lizzie, all you're saying is that you want your cousin to acknowledge your claim to the throne. Yeah, because let's face it, you know, she ain't likely to give birth to no heirs if she's bragging that she's the virgin queen, all right? Oh. Okay, okay, but you won't actually become queen of England until Elizabeth dies, isn't that right? Well, queens have accidents, Jerome. Oh. Queens oh, have snap, accidents there it is. all the time. Oh. Well, you can always count on family. <laughs> That aching all over, stuffy nose, itchy oh, eyes so feeling. Then you need leeches. It's the all natural oh. cure that sucks sicknesses symptoms away. People actually used to believe that shit. Queen of Pop Music sings about the queens and kings of Europe. Remember? This is actually really cool. This is kind of like a mixture. It's it, not a mixture, but it's similar to The Amanda Show and uh, Andy Milanakis. Like, in the, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I love it. I love the idea of what they did here. Me too. <clears throat> I'm Protestant, but I'm Catholic. I'm English, but I'm Scottish. I'm loyal, but I'm rebellious, baby. What it all boils down to. Such a good song to ruin. Is everything's coming to a head, head, hey, hey. Cause I've got one queen in my palace and the other one's Mary Queen of Sky Eyes. And you also get... Thank you, royalty. Thank you, privilege. Thank you, divine royalty. Some fabulous new imported items from the new world that will make your parties special. Among the most popular imports from the Americas are pineapples. Now, normally I eat apples with the peel on, but for the pineapple, I'd suggest peeling the peel. Other fabulous imports are vanilla, tobacco, and native people. A native Indian in your home <laughs> makes a great conversation piece, but watch out, when they're transplanted to our climate, they tend not to last very long. Jog your memory with this one. Damn. of his wives his daughter never weds of course they marry six times hoping for a boy he starts a new church so he can divorce and isn't it moronic don't you think I recommend getting your head cut off do any why certainly do. <laughs> you would never plot or scheme to murder anyone. I would not. That's right, Jerome. Well, I don't know, Mary. Our next guest has a different story. It's your third husband, the Earl of Bothwell. Oh, shit. No, they didn't. I ain't seen that worthless piece of haggis in 19 years. Haggis. Well, he's here backstage. Let's bring him out. You piece of this is the chicken squabble part of every show. Queen Elizabeth's family had been unlucky at love, so she stayed single. Mary, Queen of Scots, probably should have done the same. She was promised to Prince Francois of France when she was three, and 14 years later, she married him. The waiting must have been kind of hard on Francois because he died two years later. Mary returned to Scotland, met Lord Darnley, and married for love. Then she fell out of love with him and in love with her advisor, so Lord Darnley had her advisor killed. Then Mary fell for the Earl of Bothwell, and things got really messy. I lost everything I had for her. <clears throat> okay, but why are you calling your wife a murderer, Bothwell? Well, I am here to just speak my mind because you know what? No. I killed her second husband, oh. Lord Darnley. Come on. Oh. It's right. It's she let me do it. Oh, yeah, it's not right. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, come on, I did not. She I did not. You know what, Jerome? That's not 
too darn his death was an accident, all right? It was one of them accidents where a whole lot of gunpowder sort of just blows up your house, right? Oh, and then just oh, sends yeah, the body yeah. into the garden, right? <laughs> Kayoka, hey, Kayoka! Mikachu, Fiu Fiu, what oh is it? God. There's trouble in London, Kayoka! It's a giant robot man! I summon the power of the virginal regent, Queen Elizabeth! Remember how yesterday you arrested the giant robot man for being drunk in public? That's right. I sentenced him to the usual punishment under Queen Elizabeth, the drunkard's cloak. That's where the drunkard is forced to wear a barrel as a cloak. He wanders through town while the villagers laugh at him. Uh. Yes, but I don't think they're laughing. Mm. Oops, sorry, sorry, oops, sorry, stupid barrel. Oh, sorry, sorry. Next time, put him in the stocks. Right, the stocks. The really big stocks. This darling, he's he Dear so God. Busy. Dude, I feel like the work. You know what Never. he done? You know what he done? No. He found a what he done? Was having an affair. Oh. That's right. But so you know, he had her lover. Keel right in front of her. Oh. Yeah, yeah. How he was sad. That the shock would cause her to miscarry and die. Whatever. That's why she wanted him dead. Oh, you shit. Know, that's why you wanted him dead. That's 10 minutes, guys. We got into that drama line. That um, is a pretty funny show, though. They take, like, Jerry Springer and put it back as if it was in the medieval ages. Whatever the fuck. God damn. I feel like there needs to be more shows like this. this they did cool. really good, like, for putting that together like that and adding all that extra like like right. the different shows and stuff and still making them comedic and making them their own apparently just, they do this is a whole tv series yeah that. that's crazy we should watch it yeah that'd be fun guys go check out the channel which is um history bites official the link is down below in the description very important to support if you want to see the other half links below but uh if you want us to react to the other part then you, you can know suggest how. yeah absolutely catch you guys in the next bit peace bye